Happening right now, House lawmakers are debating President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package. The bill passed the Senate over the weekend, and the House is expected to pass it as early as tomorrow. WFMY News 2's Ben Briscoe is digging deeper into the potential impacts of the bill. It's going to get help the economy get back on its feet, and it's going to help a lot of people uh, get back on their feet. Connell Fullenkamp is not a politician but an economics professor at Duke University. He says, right now, most economists think the U.S. is about half a trillion dollars below our potential, where we would be without coronavirus. This bill is almost four times that amount, $1.9 trillion. Question is whether we're going we're gonna to have so much stimulus that we end, actually end up having too much of a good thing. We're talking about inflation concerns here? Possibly, yes. That's the word on the street these days, that people are increasingly worried about inflation coming back. That kind of a worry these days might actually not be not be all that significant. I mean, we're, we've been under 2% inflation for over a decade. If we jump up to, say, 3% inflation for a short period of time, that's not really that big of a deal. Most Republicans in the House have signaled they plan to vote against the bill, saying it's too much money. It's a real tragedy. Uh, when you look at that package, uh, we know that, that the result of that package is going to be middle class tax increases. Do you think that there'll be a hangover from the bill from spending too much? <laughs> That's a great question. We've spent a lot of money in the past uh, 18 months. Fortunately, the, the strategy is really is not to, to go around and collect money now from everybody and pay it back, but to say, let's let the economy grow. That'll increase the tax revenues. And if we can keep a lid on the growth of the debt, if we can go back to more normal times and let the debt grow at a slower rate, then the economy will get so much bigger, then we'll look back and say, oh, the debt really isn't that big of a deal. So what about the direct impact on your family? Well, there's so much more, from the $1,400 stimulus checks to a $3,600 child tax credit, and there's even some savings on your health insurance for millions of people. We've got all of that up on WFMYNews2.com. You can dig in there by searching for the word relief.